651, time for the morning sprint. Dane County will remain under a mask mandate until public health officials, uh, as they extended it yesterday. Currently, the county is averaging about 150 new cases a day, so that puts it in the CDC's level of community transmission that's high. Experts say that's still more than 100 cases a day too high to get rid of the mandate. The extension goes into effect on Friday. It will expire on November 5th. A Madison man facing potential charges this morning for his involvement in a deadly car crash that killed three teenagers over the weekend. Authorities have not given a name for the driver, but say he is still in the hospital recovering from his injuries. Two of the victims went to Middleton High School. One went to Madison West. All three students died at the scene after their car was rear-ended and caught fire. Just into the newsroom this morning, CNN reporting Johnson & Johnson has asked the FDA to authorize booster shots for its COVID-19 vaccine. The company says it'll let the FDA and CDC decide who should get the boosters. The FDA's advisory committee will meet late next week to consider requests from Moderna and Johnson & Johnson. The city of Madison is moving on to the next phase of its Vision Zero initiative. Speeds are down to 25 miles an hour on Whitney Way and Mineral Point Road this morning. Speed limits on several streets around the city have been and will continue to be reduced to try and eliminate traffic deaths by 2030. New this morning, the Nobel Prize in Physics being awarded to three scientists. They're from Japan, Germany, and Italy. They've done some groundbreaking work modeling Earth's climate, which can predict global warming patterns. Yesterday, the Nobel Committee awarded the prize in medicine to American scientists for their discoveries in how the body reacts to temperature. Happening today, Kyle Rittenhouse will be back in court for a motion hearing. Rittenhouse's attorneys want a judge to dismiss charges related to the semi-automatic rifle he owned while he was a minor, uh, minor. Prosecutors want video introduced to the case that shows Rittenhouse saying he wants to shoot men he thought were shoplifting at a pharmacy weeks before the protests in Kenosha. Rittenhouse's trial starts next month. A Democratic state senator announcing that she'll run for lieutenant governor. Senator Lena Taylor from Milwaukee made that announcement on the steps of the Capitol. She would be the state's first black female lieutenant governor. Incumbent Mandela Barnes is not running. He is uh, given up that seat to run for U.S. Senate. No other Democrats besides Senator Taylor have announced plans to run yet. The Chippewa County Sheriff's Office says remains found in a suitcase in the town of Wheaton last October have been identified as Rosalie Cindy Chavaria Rodriguez. Police say she went missing in July of 2020. The remains were found later in October. Investigators say there is a person of interest in the case, but it does remain an active investigation. Police are looking for a group of teenagers. They say smashed the windows of over 30 cars overnight. 30. It happened around 2.30 near the McKee Road and Maple Grove Drive area. Witnesses say it was multiple teenagers in a black SUV. If you have any information on the vandalism, call police at the number on your screen. A brand new $168 million cheese factory is expected to open in Little Shoot late next year. Governor Evers made a stop yesterday morning to show support for the AgroPure project and announced $4.5 million in tax credits for it. Four of AgroPure's nine facilities are located in the state of Wisconsin. A 36-year-old man is dead this morning after a motorcycle crash. It happened last night in Stoughton. Police say that the motorcycle driver was headed south on Highway 138 near Hoagie Road and lost control. His bike went into oncoming traffic and was hit. The woman driving the car that struck him is in the hospital this morning. The investigation is ongoing. Facebook says yesterday's outage was due to a change in the routers for its sites. Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook were all down for six hours during the company's longest ever crash. A congressional hearing into the company is also underway this week. The Facebook whistleblower is expected to claim at the hearing that her former company did little to stop the spread of misinformation because it wanted to drive profits up. Sunset time is now at 7 o'clock in the morning and it is getting later and later in a week. That's 7.07 in a month. The sun will not rise until after the first CBS This Morning cut in here on News 3 Now. But I want to take a moment to show you temperatures. They're remaining well above average. Our normal high is at 65. We're going to keep those temperatures in the 70s as we go through the next 10 days. Close to 70 today, though. Look for those temperatures topping out at 69. We're keeping the cloud cover around, but we're staying dry, though rain chance are going to be on the increase. You may need your umbrella again by the time we get you towards Thursday. That's when our next chance for scattered showers joins the picture. We'll have more rain chances next week as well. All right, stay with us, folks. That news and weather update coming up in half an hour.